So here we are today, dedicating the blacksmith shop, a structure to be part of the reconstructed Fort King. A blacksmith shop was the key to survival and expansion during the Florida frontier period. The blacksmith can shoe horses, fix kettles, mend wagons, and most importantly, make the nails and hardware critical to building a fort. We see a foresee a day when tens of thousands of people will travel to Ocala to tour this working heritage site. The complete Fort King with its replicated structures, visitor center, and museum will contribute to Ocala Marion County's economic well-being, will be a place for students to learn about the history of this area and the conflicts which rage throughout, and will provide the resources for scholars to study the Seminole War. I love every bit of the encouragement because it really makes you want to put your best foot forward, do your best that you possibly can to represent the community here, to represent the past, and to show the young ones that this is how things were done. I uh, put a lot of studying time into how hinges were exactly made. I had a lot of support from the archaeology department here, right on site. Um, just a wealth of information from these gentlemen. Uh, everything from when we were hand digging the foundations, finding all kinds of neat things in the ground, um, their encouragement and their enthusiasm just flowed over to everyone on site and just everyone uh, getting very, very excited to, uh, to really build this. So I'm so grateful that we have amazing history and amazing heritage right here in our own community where our students will be able to learn and grow and actually see what happened in this community long before they were ever thought of. So this is a wonderful opportunity and the educational aspect that this will bring to our students is gonna be immeasurable. And I'm so grateful to be a part of this and just congratulations. Around 1823 is the earliest that we can place ourselves here. And the state of Florida became a state in 1845. So that gives you some uh, relevance to the time frame. And thanks to Frank DeLuca and his generosity, uh, he's a very, philanthropic, and I've been practicing that word, um, person. You see his name everywhere, but you don't see a lot of business people that put the kind of time, effort, and money into a community. And he learned that very early in his business career. He and I have talked about it quite a bit. But today I have the very distinct honor of presenting the gentleman that made all of this possible in my eyes. Whenever you do a project like this, it takes a lot of people to make it all come together, but there's always gonna be a key person that has to step forward and make it come to reality. And that's in the, in the funding area. I recall whenever Commissioner Chair uh, Craig Curry and I first sat down and talked to Mr. DeLuca about his interest in this facility. He, he expressed to me that why hasn't it been done before? This county and this city needs to preserve their history. So he was enthusiastic about stepping up to the plate and actually funding this entire project. So it gives me great honor to present to you one of my dear friends and a friend of all of you in all of Marion County, Mr. Frank DeLuca. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, something when they were, when, when I was looking at the, uh, the blacksmith shop here, that it's got a lot of similarities uh, that I have in my own business, in the automobile business, because back then, People would bring the horses in to have their the shoes replaced. And in my business, people bring their Toyotas in to have the tires replaced. So quite a lot of similarity. Uh, my first visit out here, uh, Bill McCall, many years ago, uh, brought me out here and he showed me where the fort was gonna go uh, and the location where the blacksmith shop was gonna go. And uh, of course that was many years ago. So now it's a, it's a reality and these things have been accomplished. The thing that I'm very honored with is to, to be able to have something that's a, uh, 
a historic landmark that I can say, okay, fine, that's something that I got involved in and, and helped, uh, helped uh, make it happen. But I also want to thank the uh, lot of people that were involved in the fort and in this, in this project right here, and uh, the, uh, also the Fort King Heritage Foundation for all the work that they put in this and, uh, and made this a reality. Also, I want to thank uh, Chef Dinkins for the excellent workmanship they did. He and his crew did out here on the blacksmith shop. It's just great to be part of this. I, I always enjoy giving back to the community. And like I always say in my, in my saying, I always say that uh, giving back not only does it feel good, but it's the right thing to do. So thank you all for, uh, for being here, for supporting the, uh, the fort and supporting the blacksmith shop. And uh, enjoy the evening out here with the refreshments and, and uh, camaraderie. Thank you very much.